Hello all, welcome back. Today we are going to learn uh, one of the important topic and one of the important tool you can say that is RFH util. You can see this is called RFH util. You may have seen this thing and this is very important tool. This is actually help us in browsing a queue. If you want to put a message into queue, save a message from the queue, read a message I want to see message what is message in that queue then you we use the RFH util in simple thing if this is the queue if I have some message if you want to see then you can see from RFH util if this is the queue if I have something uh, uh, it has something uh, you want to save message from the queue you can save here from here everything we can uh, play with that queue with RFH util let's let's me show you how it's work and everything in details i will show only that is required and that often use i will not go with the every property you can see the data section and qmd and lot sections are there i will not go with everything i will go for the most of the thing that i is going to mainly use if you see here if in main section there is a options of Q manager, Q type of Q and Q depth. Here, here we we here we put the Q manager name to which we want to connect. Let me I want to connect with Q max one. What we will do? I will going to you choose from the list the Q max one. And I will go to just above there is a MQ option. I have to do MQ connect. You can say here it is getting connected to QMAX1. Now it is connected to QMAX1. Now we have to choose, now we have to see how many queues are there in that queue. In EPA. We can choose a queues from here. But many times it happened that the new queue is created. I did not load it fully. Then you have to use load name. Load name is used. Load name is used to load all the names that is present in that queue manager. Then you have to use load name. After once you click a load name, all queues will be available that is present here. Ignore this thing. That is the some predefined thing. If this is the, the the all the thing you can see queue that is present here. You can see also. That's present here. If I if I if I choose any one queue, let me choose error dot queue. I want to some uh, this is a queue something I made error dot queue. And in that queue, I want to put some message. Uh, if you want to put some message in that queue, you can put from RFH util also. How how it is helpful? Let's uh, let's I I want to let's the application A is sending some message and. Uh, application sending some message to the queue at error.queue and uh, from here it is going to the application B then what will happen then it will it will we can put also somehow it message got failed I want to put it again to that queue then we can this came into the artificial util came into picture in in some region the message failed to our uh, error queue let me use another queue so that you might get confused let me use b.local1 and let me use the b.local1 and something it is inhibited let me allow that one also actually let's take example where application is putting something in b.local but somehow that due to some technical reason message failed into the other error queue something else we want to put some message from error queue to b dot local then how can we achieve that uh, let me let me uh, uh, first if you want to put some message from the if uh, if i have saved some message into our local system if you want to if you want to put that message then we use the uh, here right queue open we use first we choose the first queue name i have chosen the queue name and we have to you choose the open file and choose the message to which you want to put. I want to put root dot id. I want to put root. I just put. A, I I will just click right. 
once I put a right queue, you can see the message has came here and this is the message what I have. If you want to choose other message, just open file and just use the number and right queue. You can see the other message has been sent. These two messages I just I have sent from the local system. This help this thing is helpful. Just you have to click open file, choose the message, and just click on the right queue that will go to the that local queue. But this is helpful when we have a we have message in our uh, we have I have to send look from local system to a queue. This thing we follow when I have a message in our local system, I we want to let 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 me if let me show you if i want to say move this message this message to this queue how can i do that there is the option you can see here the move queue we use that message and we can browse the queue that is how many message i want to move i want to list uh, move one message here you have to give the starting message starting message i want to uh, let's i want to just a uh, second message i want to put i wish starting message to and how much I want to put? Just why I want to put one message. And you can see now there is only one message there that is the that one. And second message has been moved to the other key. You can see if you go to here, that's you can see here the message is there. Here you can see if you want to send some message from a local system to the queue, then you have to use open file, then write queue. If you want to move message from one queue, one queue to other queue, just you have to do move queue. And if from here drop down, you have to choose the queue name to which you want to send message. Here give to a starting message. If there is 10 message, you want to move ninth message, the starting message will be ninth. And if you want to two message send, then miss count will be two. You want to send ninth and tenth message, then your miss count will be two. Similar in that's the thing. Let, let me show something. If I want to, what is mean by display queue? Let me write some message. I just kept then on some 10 messages to that queue by using right key. Uh, right key, I put in all same message. You can see here. I just kept put in some all same message. And if I want to use the display key, you can see the here from here. What is the message length? If you just do the display queue, it will display the all the message that is present the queue. With the serial number that is the length and if you see here that's the put time of the message will be you can see here is given the time when the message is thrown into that queue and if you see here that's the all more properties about it is what is what's the community related everything you can see it will be given you can see here properties so that's the i i just we just learned how to use the queue manager, the queue manager, how to browse the queue. If you want to browse the queue, just click on a start browse and you can see the message. You can browse next to see more next, next, next message. You can browse previous, you see previous message. That's the thing. If you want to, uh, we learned the start browse, browse key something same. If you want to browse key something like that, you can see. It. Once you click browse queue, then you have to go to the that you can see that message. Then once once like right queue have already told you say open file and write you will write to the message to queue. Let me show what is the read queue. If you want to just there is 10 message. If you want to read first by first one by one message, you want to read it. Read it, madam. You are you want to learn. And you, you want to read and delete something like that. Like, once I click a read queue, you can see there is ninth message, nine message only there. First message starting from the first message will be deleted. Again, I will write queue, it will delete the first message. It will delete the message. This is something like that reading and deleting. So you are just reading that message, and if you, uh, you think that it is message not useful for me, you click read queue. You are just reading that message, hey, this is not useful for me, then you, you are reading the read queue. It's like that. If you want to delete all message, I want to read all five messages. I, I I just learn see and and thought that I just see and thought that all message is not is full for me and I want to delete all five messages. Then how can you delete all five messages? Instead of doing a read queue, read queue again again, just you use the purge queue. Once you click purge queue, it all five messages have been deleted. You can see here. 
Now let me let me send some message again. I just skip nine message. Now what is the benefit of save queue? Let's this queue having the some ninth message, nine message there. I want to this message having some nine. This message having some ninth message there. I want to save few messages from them here from here. And how can I achieve that? I can achieve by using save queue. Save queue is something you want to save some message from the queue. Let's let's me let me show you. I want if, if I click on save queue, I just browse a location where I want to save. I want to save let's I want to save a here by giving the name message discuss save. Uh, you, this is this uh, you want to save file per message or one file i want to save file per message it, it will it will save one by one message you want to remove from queue if here there is option no or yes if you click on yes it will save the message and also remove from that queue it will remove from the queue and also save the message if you click no it will just save the message this is the header if you see some, there is a message header if you want to remove the header you just remove it mainly we while saving we remove that here you will give the how many message you want to save let's i want to save just uh, just last message that is ninth message what will you do? start message will ninth and next count will be first if you want to more message you want to say just uh, if you want to save uh, seventh or eighth message just click on seventh and next count will be your seventh and eighth like that simple let me save here the one message that ninth and message just ninth and next count will work just click on ok once you click on ok you can see the message has been saved let me show you let me show you menu open that it's not something one minute if I go to one minute, you can see here message that save is urgent. Let me open that message. Open with Notepad plus plus. You can see that message is there. I have saved it. This is the thing we work on. Here we learn just the key manager, key type, read key, what with the parse the message. As yes. right key, write the message. So you can see right right queue to browse the message see the message save queue to save the message load queue load the message so i will let me show you load queue display queue to display the queues first queue to delete and move queue to move from other to other queue let me show the load queue what is the load queue work load queue the in which queue in which queue you want to load the message let me want to i want to load here I want to load here, not here. Here, I want to load. I want to load. Just go to XML. I want to load here. I just give the name. Name. Dot XML. Open. Here, here. What will do? It will save all the messages. Yes, he giving the batch size one. It's all save all messages. Just click on. Okay. If you see, unable to open the message. So how it is not opening the message you can see here it's given let me open that it did not press it is message size is large so it is creating some problem but this is the same thing you can same, same thing you can do from load key let me show you something more that you, you may uh, help you if you this here is the person data you can see data if you go mqmd here you see the when the message is put in the application you put into that queue and here the message format you can see you can see here the display queue name and many more properties you can see from yours if you want to learn you can call it you can see it. if you if you go to here that is usr 
USRE section something like that in case some uh, some error code handling while code handling some error happens in the message will go to that section and here he, here error will be thrown to the that section you can see here error here if you give to DLQ DLQ is some portion in case some and handled and handle exception happen and message uh, will go to the letter Q you can see here the Q manager name and Q name everything and formats everything here here once the message in get letter Q you can see this is the basic thing that I showed you and this is the thing mainly we require uh, mainly the first page that I told you and hope if if you any have suggestion if you want to um, have any doubt you can comment me I am okay to reply for now bye bye